from babygizmo.com. This is the Bumble Ride Queen Bee 2010. The Queen Bee was one of their original premier strollers when the company launched in 2004. The Queen Bee is a pram reinvented. First of all, it's stunning to look at. It is a really, it's a real head turner. First, it has the classic beautiful design of a classic pram, but it also has some parent-friendly features that makes it a cross between a pram and a sports stroller. Now the 2010 has a couple improvements that we're going to point out first, then we're going to go over the Queen Bee as a whole. Now the, the main features that were changed is the handlebar adjusters were put on the inside to be a little bit more ergonomic, so you do them with your thumbs this time. Also, it comes standard with the bassinet, which is a really great feature. It used to be an accessory, but now it's standard. They've also changed the peekaboo window and the canopy a little bit. So those are the improvements for 2010. Now let's take a look at it as a whole. The Queen Bee is definitely a lifestyle stroller. It is better for strolling rather than maneuvering around tight corners and in busy places. Unlike traditional prams that have no way of folding and fixed wheels, the Queen Bee actually has a collapsible frame and a front pivot wheels to make it a little bit different. The Queen Bee is loaded with features. First, let's take a look at the seat. This beautiful foot muff comes standard with the Queen Bee, so you're going to get that automatically. Let's take it off and take a look. It just snaps right on the side of the canopy. Now, the seat is large. It has a 12-inch seat back. It's 13 inches right where the child's butt goes, about 11 and a half right where the small of the back, with a 20-inch seat back and from seat back all the way to canopy is 23 inches. So we were able to get our smallest up to our five-year-old tester in the seat easily. It has a padded five-point harness. Now the harness does have one of those one-touch harness clips that is very, very easy to do, but our problem is it's easy for mom to do, but it's also easy for our naughty little toddlers to do with one little touch and they're out of the seat. It also comes with a head hugger that is removable and it has this baby bumper bar that is removable with a footrest that's adjustable in all kinds of positions. All you do is pull it up to put it in any position you want and then there's two little levers right underneath that you pull up and then you can put this, the footrest back down in any position that you would like. The seat has a fabulous recline with four different positions and this is a, as upright as the stroller gets because I know a lot of moms want to know. And what I love is it a one-handed bar recline, so it's very, very easy for mom to do. All I have to do is lift up the bar and I can put it in any of the positions, including completely flat, which is perfect for newborns. Now, if you put the footrest all the way up, it kind of makes a bed that in case you didn't want to use the bassinet, it makes a bed for your infant. Now, what a great feature of the seat is that it's reversible. You can take the whole entire seat off the frame by pushing those two buttons, lifting up. There's one on each side. You lift the whole seat out and you can reverse it on the frame. Slide it back into the pieces. Make sure they're locked on both sides. You can, either your infant can ride forward or this is when your child gets a little bit older, it turns it into your standard stroller. The canopy on the Queen Bee is fabulous. This is a full coverage canopy. As you can see, it folds all the way down in front of your child to keep them out of the elements or, you know, to keep people from seeing in at your child. It has your standard peekaboo window. Now, they did change the peekaboo window of it. They took away the plastic and now it's a UV mesh that allows air to circulate through the stroller to keep your child with a little bit of air and keep them cool in the summer. There is a pocket on the back of the canopy that you can put keys, maybe a cell phone in, small little pocket for, you know, parents' essentials. There's a great adjustable handlebar that they changed for 2010. They changed the way you adjust it. Now it's with your thumb, so it's a little bit more ergonomically correct. You push the buttons, and there are five different positions from all the way up here all the way down to here. So in case there's some older siblings that would like to help push the stroller, it goes down to there. There's also a handy little cup holder on this side. You can put it on either side of the stroller, whichever is more convenient for you. Now let's talk a little bit about storage. There is that pocket on the back of the canopy, and there's also a large basket underneath. And the basket's very easy to access. And as you can see, I have my big diaper bag here. And the diaper bag fits easily. 
and if I put the footrest up in the front, I can even access it from the front. So it's a very open basket. I could probably get a blanket or two under there as well. So the storage is pretty good on the, the Queen Bee. The Queen Bee has four 12-inch air fill tires, and what I love about Bumble Ride is that it includes a tire pump, so in case they need a little air, I always have one on hand. Now, it also has a full suspension system that's going to give baby a really smooth ride, so it's going to absorb all of the bumps. Now, the front wheels of the Queen Bee, now a classic pram, they're fixed, they don't turn, but the Queen Bee, they have pivot wheels. Now, these are not swivel wheels. They do not swivel 360 degrees. They just pivot a little bit to give you a little bit of maneuverability um, around corners. As you can see, that is as much as it's going to pivot. But you also can lock them straight. If you did want to go over a bit rougher terrain, you can lock the wheels into place and that's going to, you know, keep it going straight ahead. There's a one-touch brake bar in the back that's going to lock both wheels into place to keep the stroller from rolling away on you. The Queen Bee is definitely a head-turning stroller, but a pram is not for everybody. The maneuverability does take a little bit getting used to. The front pivot wheels help, but the stroller's not going to turn on a dime. You might have to pull back and actually turn on the back wheels to get it around tight corners. The Queen Bee is definitely a great option for a pram, but if you're looking for a sports stroller, Bumble Ride does offer its Indy, which is an all-terrain stroller, and the standard stroller flyer for your more busy lifestyle. Unlike traditional prams, the Queen Bee actually folds. Now it's not a very compact fold, but it makes it a little bit easier to transport. You pull up on these two black levers on either side, fold the handlebar forward, and the seat can be facing forward or reversed, and this is as compact as it's going to get. Well, you can actually take the seat off and fold it that way as well. Now the pram is 31 pounds, so it's heavy, but if you want to make it a little bit lighter, take your seat off, fold the chassis, and put them in your trunk separately. So that's going to make it a little bit more doable. The Queen Bee doesn't have a lock to keep it closed, but the way you pick it up, I don't think it would ever open up on you anyway, so I don't think it really needs a lock. Now, unfolding the stroller, very simple to do. All you have to do is pull up on your handlebar until it locks open and you're ready to go. Now, one of the accessories we love is the toddler seat. You have your second child on the way. The Queen Bee becomes a double. All you have to do is add the toddler seat, and the toddler seat goes right where the bumper bar goes. So remove your bumper bar. There's two pieces underneath that you push up, take the bumper bar out, and the toddler seat slides in the same place of the bumper bar. Now, the toddler seat is not adjustable, so it's not going to recline and it doesn't have an adjustable footrest, but it does fold forward so that you can have easier access to your rear child. Now, back here, you could put the seat all the way down, put your baby in the, the rear of the stroller, and put your toddler up here. The toddler seat holds 35 pounds. The stroller seat holds 45 pounds. So this is a really great alternative if you need a double. And if you didn't need a double, take the toddler seat off, you're back to a single. The Queen Bee also folds with the toddler seat on. For 2010, the bassinet comes standard with the Queen Bee. So you can turn your seat into an actual rolling bed for your baby. Just take out your seat, which we showed you earlier. Set your bassinet into the same pieces as you did before. Lock it into the frame, on both sides, and just to let you know, the canopy is the same canopy that you used on your stroller seat, so you're just going to need to take it off the stroller seat, put it on your bassinet, and the bassinet can face either mom or out, either way. The bassinet is very roomy. It's 30 inches long and 13 inches wide. As you can see, our three and a half month year old is very, very comfortable in the bassinet. You can use this bassinet at home as well. If it's not on the stroller, you can bring it inside for your child to nap or use it on your stroller frame. The Queen Bee also accepts an infancy to make it a travel system. I have a Graco snug ride right here. Now it sets in the seat. There are car seat adapter straps that you, you actually hook into the seat. Set your car seat check Bumble Ride's website to find out what seats are compatible. Set it in the seat. Take your adapter straps, loop them around the car seat. and that becomes a travel system. If you're looking for a beautiful head-turning pram that's great for everyday use, the Queen Bee could be the stroller for you. It has a giant canopy, a roomy seat, a great big basket, that wonderful suspension system, and an adjustable handlebar. And this is the review of the Bumble Ride Queen Bee 2010 by Holly Schultz of babygizmo.com.
For the most up-to-date news and reviews, check out my blog at ratedbymom.com.